Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, the 26th of January, 2021. Look at how much snow we have. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We're gonna do a drive around the lake real quick. It's 6.30 in the morning. This is first sunlight. Um, yeah, I am exhausted. I did sleep for a couple hours. But my poor little kitty, man. I hope he's okay. It's like killing me. Cause I just lost, I just lost the cat after 15 years. And then he's all of a sudden showing some small issues. I don't even want to talk about it actually, never mind, never mind. But yeah, so we're here in freaking Big Bear, you guys. Look, there's just no one on the roads. It's 6.30 in the morning, there's no one out here. And that noise is my air compressor for my train horn. It's 17 degrees out here right now. But this is basically the snowfall aftermath, guys. And we get a day and a half break in between the next storm. It's 7 p.m. tomorrow night. That's when the next foot of snow begins. Snow Summit is down this street right here, Summit Boulevard. Ski resort. Hope that air compressor shuts off pretty soon. That is annoying. So tired right now. Hey, I, I got to meet one of you guys last night, Joseph. Hey, man. Nice to meet you, brother. Seriously, it was nice to meet you, dude. You're, you're a really cool guy. He put up with me big time because I was in s such a situation, and some of it had to do because of my cat. And I was just kind of uh, super bummed out about stuff last night. I got I got out of it quickly. <laughs> out of that negative thinking, but it still hung around for a little bit. Maybe because it's so cold outside, that's why the air compressor is having issues. But if it doesn't get any better, because we're gonna drive through the village. I know that's annoying you guys, but if it doesn't get any better by the time we get through uh, through the village, then I'm gonna have to figure something out. I'm probably gonna have to cut, cut one of the wires again. Had to do that before because it wouldn't shut off, but we'll see, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. It does take a good five, six minutes for it to fully fill up, so. Guys, it shut off. <laughs> At least that's one good thing. Good start to the day. Jeez, my little baby. Oh, I'm worried about pampers. Seriously, that would be the end of me, man. I'm telling you. Losing. Oh man, we got to deal with these guys. No, we're, we're, we're not gonna deal with these guys. We're gonna go straight. We're gonna go straight, and we're gonna cut these guys. We're gonna cut them off. cut them off in a bad way. You guys know what I'm saying, right? Oh, we got some more of these guys right here. Yeah, doggy. Okay, so whereabouts are these guys? They're okay, they're just to the left. Look at how much snow is here. Look it, looky, 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 looky. 
and I'll give you a cookie if you looky looky. Oh my gosh, I am so tired, you guys. So I told you guys, do you remember when I filled up, not yesterday, but the day before I filled up my gas tank? Well, I told you guys it usually takes like about two days in this type of weather. Well, I filled it up yesterday. That's how much driving I did just up here. And there's a chance I might have to drive down the mountain later on today, you guys. So if, if I do, I will, I will definitely um, record going up and down. Look at this. This is the village, you guys. That's a whole lot of snow, folks. That's a whole lot of snow. <laughs> and that's the way the cookie crumbles. It's a whole lot of snow. Uh, 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 it's a whole lot of snow. Uh, uh, uh. Whole lot of snow. Whole lot of snow. It's a whole lot of snow. Uh, uh, uh. I really, really, really like the hotel we stayed at. You guys, I don't want to keep on pointing it out, but it's, it was really cool. It was really fun. The view was beautiful. But this is insane. Look at how much snow we got right here. This is this is Big Bear Village, folks. Kid, there's hardly anyone driving. There's, there's no traffic, guys. I really hope the roads still aren't closed, man. I really hope it, it said R2 conditions for everything. Everything. And then, guys, I was wrong about R3 conditions. My gosh, I was wrong about that. R3 means that every vehicle needs snow chains. It means, like, uh, yeah, every vehicle needs snow chains. I did not know that. I've been giving you guys the wrong information for so long. I, I mean, what I've been giving you is, is like pretty much as good as like, I mean, it's, it's probably not impacting you too much differently because with R3 conditions, most majority, 99% of, of people are, are not going to be driving anyway. Even us, we all wheel drive people and four wheel drive people don't all have chains. And so a lot of people will, will, will not come. So I would tell people with R3 conditions, it means the road's closed. So I'm so sorry, you guys. Like, that was such, like, not, I, you know, that was an honest mistake. There's a little, hey, Magic Mountain, woohoo! Such a beautiful time of day, you guys. This is the way all of you guys would be coming into town right now. I don't like this, you guys. I don't like this. We get all this snow and then you guys get, oh my gosh, there's like two feet over here. I'm not kidding, you guys. This is a lot of snow. Then we got another foot foot coming. So this is gonna be a nice nice end of January. Like I, I told you guys, don't, I mean, don't you guys remember in all the, all the videos I was doing earlier? I was talking about how this time of year late january we typically get the biggest snowstorms however our wettest months are technically february and march but we get the biggest snowstorms at least on record if you look at uh the u.s climate data website you're golden because uh yeah you're golden meaning that like the end of january it's just dumper time but once again the most precipitation we get is February and March, technically. Wow, winter freaking wonderland guys that's what i'm saying it's all it's all i'm saying man or you know i'm saying a lot more because i don't shut up but and seriously brother who i met last night dude hey man hey brother hey you are cool as the other side of the pillow thank you for being so cool with me i know i was kind of a kind of a d at first um not t 
to not to my friend guys on freaking YouTube, not to one of you guys. Um, as I said, I was going through something last night, and uh, um, yeah, but he contacted me, and, and you you were a super cool guy, man. You really are. You know, your family should be proud. Your friends should be proud to call you a friend. Thanks again, Joseph. But I remember I put your your name differently, so I hope you know who I'm talking about. Um, yeah, we. You said to uh, you usually give a different name for like the like Venmo or for like that type of stuff. So I'm not gonna put the real name on on here, but Joseph, thank you. I believe it was Joseph. Thanks, brother. You're a really super cool dude, man. Couldn't be more blessed. So this is exactly what I was hoping for. This type of freaking traffic. So if it's like this the whole way, we're just gonna go all the way around the whole entire valley, you guys. Because we're not gonna be doing another video for like a day. We're probably not gonna do another one in until tomorrow's calm before the storm. Even though the storm's coming tomorrow, we're still we're, we're still gonna do a calm before the storm tomorrow. Dude, look at this, man. I really hope that they that the roads are not closed because you guys would be already freaking lining this freaking place up right now. This whole drive would be just traffic right now. <coughs> oh yeah, Boulder Bay, man. I love Boulder Bay. I want to live in one of those houses. Any of you uh, single rich ladies, please. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm not a chauvinist. I'm not. I'm not an any -nist. I don't have any time. I don't have any time, unfortunately, for uh, for any, any, you know any relationships right now. And it's very unfortunate because I'm. I really want relationships. I want children. Um, I just work all the time and I'm so focused on getting my future for a long time you guys it's a huge focus of mine I'm really focused on getting my future all locked in and set up um, and unfortunately most of my life I've been the type of person who's always seeking the money instead of seeking the happiness first um, and yes, marriage and children are certainly happiness, but I cannot bring any kids into this world without being totally financially successful and free. And if I'm a horrible parent, not in a bad way, but if I'm a horrible parent in terms of like giving my kids everything, yeah, that's, that's yeah. Um, yeah, it's, my parents gave me everything, but they grew up with nothing and it kind of, made it so it took me a little longer to get uh you know life down basically but at the same time um as i said i i want to give my kids absolutely everything they ever wanted but the only difference is between them and me is that is my kids they're gonna have to work for everything they get they can have anything they want but they have to work for everything they get and it, i'm just telling you guys man like uh like that that's 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 the happiness I want a, a wife some kids um, and uh, but yeah as I said it's really important for me to be financially independent and just completely successful um, so I can be a good dad be a good husband um, so those are some of the sacrifices that people in life that that do get get to those financial places these are the sacrifices that they make. I have friends all the time, always wanting me to hang out and and just 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 you know stuff like that. And unfortunately, I can never do it because first of all, I'm so tired from all the work that I do. Um, and secondly, yeah, it's it, it's just I know I have to get up that next day and and and, and start the start the whole the whole process over again and. Uh, but I try to do it better and better every day. I, I try to be a better and better me every day. But I'm telling you, I'm I'm like, oh, once I'm in that spot, then I'm really hoping somehow I find the energy to go out and and find find someone. You know, I mean, I'm I just turned 40. I'm like, I don't know. Like I'm just. My parents had me at a very late age. My mom was 38 and my dad was 48. My mom was born in 1942. My dad was born in 1932. Can you believe that? Um, and 
I just don't want to be old parents like my parents were for me because it's it's always bothered me so much. I have six older brothers and sisters, you guys. <clears throat> I have six siblings, then they're all older than me. The next oldest is 10 and a half years older than me. And why that's significant for me is because they all get 10 and a half years with my mom and dad more than I'll ever get. And it really bothers me. I mean, it really bothers me. And some of them don't don't even act like it. Like, uh, it, at least from my perspective, and I'm probably totally wrong. At least I sure hope I am. But that they don't care. Unlike unlike me, so um, it, it is what it is. But yeah, so that's that's my that's my goal. That's my intention is to really get financially free. Um, obviously, like I don't. I don't think YouTube will, will, will ever do that. But thankfully I have my other business that I've worked really hard for many years to sacrifice a lot and build up, um, quite, a, quite a clientele. And, uh, but it's been a lot of sacrifice as most of my friends were out on Friday and Saturday nights partying at bars and stuff. I'm like sound asleep because I'm working so freaking ridiculously hard and I'm I guess lazy. I'm not saying that the people who go to bars don't work hard. Trust me. Trust me. Most of you do. Um, but I'm, I'm just saying it's, it's, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying, right? I hope it's early. I'm rambling. It's a lot of snow. <laughs> this is kind of a little dangerous spot, but look, if you, if you like crash, you're just going to be pinballed. So by the snow on the side. But then again, you guys saw me go through that four foot snow berm in front of my house, right? Yeah. And by the way, this is the snowiest part of town. And I think they are letting people up now. We will be able to see. We, we have seen a few cars come through. And I know they all aren't coming from, uh, from the Fonskin area. Look at this poor guy. He shouldn't have, he shouldn't have left his car there. <laughs> Dang, you're stuck, dude. That sucks. Look at this view. This is the snowiest part of town, guys. I mean, look at the piles on the side, on, on, on the left-hand side. It's as high as these trucks. And yes, they are letting people. So tonight, I will be driving down. I can't believe I'm, I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna drive down, I'm gonna record it going down and going up so you guys can see. Yeah, there's Snow Valley Ski Resort. All the way over there with that little cloud hanging on top of it. That's right at Snow Valley. And wow, we've got a, oh man, look at that. I wish it was a much better view. It's 19 degrees outside. We're only supposed to get up to like 25 today. Maybe 25. <laughs> sun right there on the lake oh man just look at look at how much how much snow there is too just look at how beautiful this place is can you guys believe i get to live here this is crazy man this is ridiculous but i know my videos tend to be very long so we might not go around the whole valley even though i want to show you guys the snow rule you know what we will <laughs> That's why we went this direction, so we can avoid the traffic coming into town. We'll be going against it all the whole time for this drive, so that'll be cool, so we don't have to hit any of it. But man, these views are really knocking my socks off. Look at this. I mean, look at this. Just gorgeous guy. 
is just gorgeous, man. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this place. Yeah, one last thing back to the, the women and children thing. Yeah, like, uh, and I, I'm just, I just have to have someone who's in their like 20s, early 30s or something. Only because, as I said, I don't want old old parents. Yeah, I'm gonna be a, a, an old parent, but I don't I don't think it's fair, man. Like as I said, it's bothered me so much that my mom and dad were so old when they had me because I don't I'm not gonna get to have them as long as my older brothers and sisters did, and it just really breaks my heart. So basically, yeah, that's that's what I am looking for when when that time's right is like a mid 20s woman who's got her stuff together. Um, who works really hard, who, who, who believes in herself, who believes in me, and yeah, just, I can't believe this view, I mean, I really can't believe this view, I can't believe it, I can't believe it, <laughs> yeah, I, <clears throat> I hope that doesn't sound bad to you guys, um, that I'm looking for, like, someone who's, like, in their mid-20s, I know this is a weird conversation, and I'm not trying to, like, use this channel as a as a dating site I'm not but uh I just want you to I just want you guys to know who I am I want you guys to be comfortable with me and just really know who I am um what I think about because you guys mean a lot to me <clears throat> you guys mean a lot to me so does that view holy crrr. there's no one behind me so I just need to slow down a little bit. Just look at that, man. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. I love it so much. Wow. You guys seeing what I'm seeing? You guys seeing how pretty that is? It's truly something to behold. Oh my gosh, I cannot, like I, I'm probably, like that's going to make me cry. It's not, but like that's how beautiful it is, it really is. I cried a bunch already. I, I thank you guys for being so supportive of that. Like, uh, I couldn't help myself, I could not stop. That was crazy what you guys made me feel, I could not stop. And so that's why I was really scared that you guys were, were going to be very mean. Not all of you, but some of you. I'm in, I'm in love. I'm in love with you guys, but I'm in love with this beauty here. Man, this is going to take forever to upload this, I'm sure. If we can maintain this type of traffic, like... I 100% will do the whole Baldwin drive. Or, well, the, the whole Valley drive. <laughs> the eight miles of the Valley drive, let's say that. The beauty is just overwhelming. Over freaking whelming. like they are letting vehicles up here I saw some cars driving in from from the other side of the dam so that's an indicator that you guys are good at least on highway 18 so if 330 is closed then highway 18 is obviously open from the bottom to get up um, so you're probably good there and then uh, let's see here if highway 18 is closed at down there until you get up to the top, then take Highway 330 to Highway 18 at the top. Hey guys.
guys, speed limit's 25 in here and I'm freaking freezing. I don't know why I have that stuck in my hand. Stuck in my hand. Stuck in my head. Stuck in my damn head, y'all. What's that dog? You know what sounds so good right now? I don't know why, but like a Red Bull is pounding the hell out of it. Just grabbing it and be like, hey, Red Bull, get in my belly. Get in my belly. Oh, baby, the other white meat. <laughs> baby, it's what's for dinner. Baby, the other white meat. The other white meat. White meat. I love Mike Myers, man. He is so funny. He is so funny. One of my uh, favorite films, it's kind of like a cult classic. Apparently it didn't do well at all at the box office, but I think it's, a, it's an adorable movie. So I Married an Axe Murderer. Terrific movie, you guys. It's a Mike Myers film. It's so great. It was pr it probably came out in the late 90s. Like mid, mid to late 90s. Great movie. I, I, I'm gonna say 1997 or 1998. Maybe 96. I guess that's mid 90s. See, these guys in front, I don't expect them to ever really pull out for us, which they, as far as I'm concerned, they get the exceptions to the rule because they're the ones keeping us safe. But believe it or not, more times than not, these guys actually pull out for me more than anybody else, which is kind of weird because I understand that they're, they're doing their damn job. Like last night, the dude pulled over there for me, which is cool. As I said, though, I'm not tripping on it. What I am tripping on, though, is how much snow we have here in Fawnskin. I mean, look at look at these freaking roofs. Some 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 parts of the roofs have like two feet of snow. Other have like one feet, one feet, one foot. Honestly, I don't know. like uh, if we keep, if, if 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 he doesn't pull over though, and we continue to be stuck at this slow slow rate, or we'll look, we're going less than the speed limit no matter what because I'm not going to speed through here. But um, if if this is the case, we're just going to have to just once we get to Stanfield, head back to the house because I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to want to get this uploaded today. And I'm telling you to upload these 4K long long videos it takes a long time. takes a long time. I think it, it was intentional. Thank you, sir. You got to give them the old blinker signal to say thank you when people are kind enough to get out of your way like that. Because he didn't have to, but he's doing the courteous thing. Um, as I said, which is kind of weird, even, even if you're going the speed limit, if you're, let's say you're on a road like this and you're going the speed limit, let's say the speed limit is 20 miles an hour and you're going the speed limit, but there's a bunch of cars lined up behind you. Believe it or not, you can get ticketed for impeding the progress of traffic if you don't pull over and let those people by. Even though you're going the speed limit, you're doing everything right you can still be the one who gets ticketed. So I guess that would technically mean you're not doing everything right. But when you think about it broken down into its little fundamental state, that's exactly what it is. Um, but yeah, any, any who, any who. I love this place so much I don't even know how to express myself anymore without sounding like a horse.
one sounds good, a mocha frappuccino. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, boy. Yeah, mocha frappuccino, dog. What's up? So we are exiting the town, the little, the little area of Fawnskin. Gosh, look at all the snow. And the smell smells so good. People are burning fires in their houses. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh, oh, it smells like vacation. It smells like wintertime vacation. It's so freaking cold. Just look at the temperature. 19 degrees, but I'm driving around like a moron with my window down. It's cold. No gloves, no nothing. Nothing. We're rolling that bad boy up, though. I'm not playing that game anymore. It's so cold. Man, I am exhausted, folks. I am so tired. Oh, my gosh. I probably got another three hours of sleep, so that's good. But... Like literally, from the point of when I'm getting up for the day, about to start my other regular job, from the point I wake up and while I'm driving to my job sites and stuff, I am responding to comments the whole entire time, the whole entire day. And then once I get to like bedtime, I'm still doing the comments. When we have storms now, it's, it's, it's like that nonstop. I'll tell you what, man. I can sleep more when I'm dead. You guys are so important to me. And the love and respect you guys show me, especially not making fun of me when I got really emotional during that live feed. Thank you, guys. That was uncontrollable weep. I was weeping uncontrollably. It was crazy. They were like almost, almost diaphragmatic weeping. It was like deep. It, it, it really was, so... Thank you guys for being so loving and so so supportive. That's why, for me, it's not difficult. And look, the Big Bear Snow Rule. That's blue skies over in Baldwin Lake like usual. Gosh, man, we're like gonna almost have to go over there. See how little snow is left. But yeah, like, uh, you guys are everything to me. Thank you. Thank you for everything. That's why it's easy for me to get, get out of bed early, even if I haven't had any sleep. Now it's not getting warmer, it's getting colder. <laughs> isn't that special? Well, isn't that special? Isn't it special? Well, I thought it was special. It might not be special. I've got to go down the street, and we're running down the street. This is dangerous turn right here. I see cars go over the edge like I'm about to not go over the edge. This view is going to be sick after all the window again, unfortunately. Because look at this. Guys, I'm, I'm about to die. It's so lovely. I'm just like about to freaking die, folks. It's so unbelievable. I need to get a much more clear view of that. From right here, there's no one behind me, so we're golden. No one even close. Oh my gosh. How am I going to get that? Because the sun's just sitting right on the top of the damn thing like a damn, like a damn diamond ring. Look at Snow Summit. Wow. Wow. That looks so beautiful, man. I love the way that it looks. That looks gorgeous, man. I just love it, man. I just love it, man. So 
this is what we're doing. We are, we're, we're gonna go straight. Look, see, it's blue skies over here, guys. Completely. It's just the way it is over here. This is where I gotta take my kitty to VCA. God, dude, I don't wanna have to do that. Not because I don't wanna take my cat there, it's just taking my cat to the doctor sucks, man. It just breaks my heart, man. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's not fair. You know what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to pull over right here and clean off our what you wanna call it real quick, hang on. Our windshield wiper. Okay, sorry about that. So I did the best I could on the windshield, but I couldn't do much or on the windshield wipers, this one part, there's like, like I swear, I thought I got all the ice off of it, I tried it the second time, there's still nothing. So we're just gonna have to do the camera over here. If I go over here like that, we're gonna have that in the way. It's unfortunate, but that's why, I, you know what, we're just gonna bust this quickly, see if that'll warm it up at all. I know that's annoying you guys, but it might help us out.
this is this is highway 18 so you're you're basically on um, this is the way you would come in and out from highway 18 on the back side Backside meaning from Lucerne Valley and Apple Valley and Victorville and stuff like that. You'd be coming in on this route right here. Wow, look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous sauce. It's gorgeous sauce. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Looky what we have here. Looky what we have here. That's beautiful. I mean, I am just absolutely in heaven right now. This is so gorgeous. I don't even know what to say. The sun's just beating right down on us. I can't see anything. But I'm not looking. I've got my visor down. Look, I've got my visor down right here. But yeah, it's difficult, man. But it's so worth it for you guys. It's so worth it. I mean, look at that. Look at the, look at the sun just sitting right there in the sky. He's a very happy sun, man. He's a very, it's, whoa! It's a very happy sun. Hey, you know you gotta put him in the arm bar, man. You gotta put him in the arm bar, man. You gotta make him tap, man. You gotta make the guy tap, bro. Come on, man. You gotta make him tap, bro. Yes. I just cannot believe this. I mean, look at that. Just look at that. And this guy, I was a little bit bummed out with that first, but he's just. Picking up the pace like a mug, like a mug, because he pulled right, right in front of me. Like there's no one else, but he had, he had to pull right in front of me. Oh my God, we're gonna get this view from here. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. I'm sorry, Lord, for using your name in vain so much. I just did it like three hundred thousand times. This is what is going on here. This is so crazy. I've got to tell you. I've got to be honest about it. The craziness is very appealing to me, though. I love it. I love it. This looks like frozen ocean, yes? Kind of frozen ocean with poop on top. With the gray poop. It's not gray. It's brown. The poop, the, ground, the brown poop is on top of the lake. It's poop. It's a poop. We call it the poop. Do you know we call it the poop? I, I like to call it the poop. Enough of the poop now. Now we talk about big boy things, huh? How about talk about crap? <laughs> if we talk about the crap, not the poop, huh? Not pooping. We don't talk about the poop. Huh? But yeah, look, so there's a significantly less amount of snow out here. And when we get over, look, you can see brown over there. You can see the ground. Look at that. Look, at you can see all the trees over here. That's the big bear snow rule, folks. I telling you that I know what I'm doing and that's the first time since I've been alive that I know without saying right here on like just keep on going this way but you're coming in the other way from the other direction on this road if you come into town and you see this much snow on this side of town then you know we got hit good you know we got hit good this side of town will never have more snow than the other side of town however when we get the monsoon season this side of town gets hit the hardest with the thunderstorms because it's it's, it's it gets 
thunderstorms get here first for the thunderstorms. They, they come in the, the other direction. It's pretty cool. I cannot believe that. Wasn't that just insane? The slowing down gave me a chance so I can hit the gap. But look at how little snow's over here, guys. It's hardly anything. Look at this. It's like inches. <laughs> this is incredible. You guys see this? This is the Big Bear Snow Rule. This is what I've. This is what I've coined. That's the Big Bear Snow Rule. It's a beautiful, beautiful snow rule. <laughs> it wouldn't be prudent. Not at this juncture. No new taxes. Wouldn't be prudent. Not at this juncture. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it wouldn't be prudent, bro. That's not how Bush sounded. No, Brad. No, Brad. When we turn, Brad. All right. These people are going to turn right here. I guarantee you. Unless, wow, unless they came all the way up here to go to church and then are driving down. Unbelievable. That's what they did. Hey, whatever it is. What? What? Well, they could have been going to church. It's only seven in the morning. But yeah, we're going into Baldwin right now, folks. Check it out. Yo, here we go. Baldwin Lane Drive, or no, Baldwin Lane Road. Look at that cloud right there. Look at, look at that. I love it. But I need to hurry because we're taking too much time, man. It's too much time. I don't know what to say, bro. It's taking the, taking the time. someone's there that I learned is just look look at the roof and if the roof compared to the other roofs has a bunch of snow on it like that one is occupied for sure because there's no snow on it um, that one's probably not that house is probably not occupied like it's just crazy cool how that is man like uh, it's obviously because the heat inside the house which is why it's melting the snow on the roof and if you're not home you're not gonna be melting any snow. So you're gonna have a full, a full head of hair. Look at that, man. I, look at the sun, I mean, it's just awesome, guys. I love it, I love it.
cloud is just sitting and saying, hey, where did the rest of the storm go? Where's my family? You left me here all by my lonesome, just a soul, just right by myself. What's going on here? That's what the cloud just said, you guys. I feel really bad. I, don't, I really don't know how to respond. I really, I kind of want to tell it to stop complaining. Um, you know, but then again, you know my relationship with these with these snowstorms. We love each other. It's almost, it's almost kind of sick. You know, it's kind of dirty because Mr. Snowstorm or Mrs. Snowstorm, <laughs> Mrs. Snowstorm is. Uh, has been married to Mother Nature, or no, that wouldn't that wouldn't be right. Has been married to Father Time, and I've been stealing Father Time's wife and just taking her for a spin. That's very odd. It makes no sense. But guys, as I said, it's too early for me to even be thinking about anything. Like I'm gonna hit the brake. Dang it, man! I didn't even go sliding one bit. So yeah, as I said, this, this when this side of town has this much snow, you know the other side of town got pounded, folks. Pounded. Look at these cornices right here. Look at how cool that looks. ranches and stuff like that this whole area back here is full of these it's so beautiful so cute man but yeah so so yeah boy six inches up here but still that's still a good amount for over here when this side gets six inches there's like two feet on the, the, the other side that's what I figured it, it's about close to that when there's let's say there's two inches over here there's gonna be like eight to ten inches at the Big Bear Dam <laughs> just about every time you guys it's pretty darn cool
this is such a really cool little street though you guys and on the left hand side here there's a bunch of spots when there's this much snow to try to find spots to go sledding obviously this area right here wouldn't be good because you'll sled right into the middle of the street we don't want anything to happen to your children so but there are spots you just turn around make a left and you'll be good um like there's spots like like this but without a fence so you can park and then go sliding up there oh yeah super super fun you guys look at this little spot right here this is this is gorgeous man oh man I want to take the back streets to avoid some of these slow pokes. Um, we're gonna take this main road, Big Bear Boulevard, so you guys can see what it's like. Basically, this is like what it's coming in on Highway 38. So we did all the, the major highways to come into town, basically to show you guys what it's like. I just want to show you what it's like to drive the boulevard.
out great. Take off the freaking bandage and I'm bleeding. That's a great freaking thing. Alright, well let me put the bandage back on. Sorry guys, I'm trying to look in my rear view mirror. Put this bandage on my face. What's up, dog? And then hide it. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Put the bandage on. Yeah. I'm a bandage loving bandit. I'm a bandit bandit dad. I'm sorry. It's really early in the morning. I've got a lot of issues. <laughs> all I can all I can think about is my kitty and what's going on. I don't know what's going on. So we have an appointment at 9:30 this morning. It's 7:41. Can you guys even see that? Hang on. Oh yeah, there we go. Mexican food. Se llama Cocina de Mexico. It's called uh, Cocina de Mexico. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Circle K, it's just so much snow, so many people, don't know where to go, I don't know what to say, I'm going to lay by the bay, I just may, what do you say, make things out of clay, I love Happy Gilmore, for Happy Gilmore, anything, <clears throat> my endless love. I'm a huge Adam Sandler fan actually and you know what's funny is in my 20s like all my 20s um, you know how, how how people tell you you look like a certain like famous person well like I was told for, for by so many different people it was so funny too at first it really bothered me <laughs> but I was told like Adam Sandler and Rob Schneider how funny is that like the mix between or not the mix between the both just they just say like, some people say Rob Schneider, some people say Adam Sandler, but it's a lot of them who say the same thing. And I found that kind of funny. Yeah. I don't know why I even brought that up, but you guys gotta deal with it now. It's here. I left it, I, I, I put it down. Hopefully you're picking it up. If you're not picking it up, then you can toss it away. Just don't throw it in the street because that wouldn't be a good thing I say. Okay, this is where you take your kids sledding. When you want to take them sledding. That's so awesome. You take them and you pay to go there. Which is, it's okay. You're gonna be safe. You're not gonna slide into the street. It's gonna be fine, man. Hey, it's gonna be fine, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. You take your kids to that place, you're gonna have some fun. Nobody's messing with you, it's the truth. You got it? You got it? Sosa, I never like him. I never like that guy. <laughs> Jeez Louise, I don't even know what the heck's going on here. What is going on here, folks? There's something going on here. I just hope I go home and, and my baby's okay. Oh my gosh, I can't stop thinking about it. I love you guys for being there for me always. Through everything. Through everything. I, 
just turned my steering wheel a little bit and like the car didn't turn. That was kind of weird. <clears throat> you know why? It's because I've got so much snow and ice caked onto the steering column, I guarantee you. I guarantee. I guarantee. That's what happened. That's what happened to me. And then I guarantee that's what happened to me. What happened to you was you took a huge poo and then I said to Nan, Hey Ben, what you got in that can? See, I might be the best rapper that ever lived if I if I put myself if I, you know. If I really applied myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, come on. Who busts out raps like like the one I just did right there? You know? I know one. Like that's just too too good. The mind's working too fast. Because all I have to say is I can do it all day. What are you gonna do when I take a poo? See, I, I mean, come on. It doesn't get better than that. You can try, but it's not gonna happen. And look, you can tell it's snowing straight ahead. That picture is something to behold, huh? It's something to behold, huh? I love it, I love it, I love it. And when you go, I'll follow, I'll follow, I'll follow. I'll always be my true love. Well, I guess I can't always be my own true love. That would be pretty cool though. To be my own true love, yes. I would love that. I would love it, I would love it, I would love it. To be my own true love, man. That would be great. You shouldn't have turned there, man. You shouldn't have turned right there. You should wait for other people. Look, snowplow operations in effect. No parking on any city streets, you guys. You guys see that, right? On that sign right there. Just making sure. Just making sure, yo, because it's not a good thing if you get stuck on the streets, man. You don't want to park on the streets. Don't get in the way of the, uh, the snowmobile plow. The snowmobile plow. <laughs> it's a snowmobile plow. Don't get in the way. Once again, you guys, a big source of income for this town is, uh, and look, they're not doing it to be jerks. It's... The law is the law is the law. It, it, it doesn't matter where you're at. Um, if, you, if you don't follow it, the consequences will will end up coming in. But uh, yeah, I don't know what my point was about that whole situation, but yeah, it is what it is. And it's snowing on top of Snow Summit. You can see that right now. I must shut up. If I must shut up, everyone must punch me in the face. If I get punched in the face, I will start to use my mace. And then I will untie my stupid shoelace. <laughs> See, like, it doesn't get any better than that. You know what? People call me the Snoop Dizzle Jizzle. That's what that's what they call me, the Snoop Dizzle Jizzle. Now we're gonna bust this out real quick. Yeah! Get loose. Getting crazy up in here. Alright guys, so we're done for this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for all the support. You guys give me a lot of support, a lot of love. I want you guys to see what I'm pulling into. Our little driveway is not too shabby right now, but it's not too... I mean, it's it's deep. I, I mean, look at that. That's, that's two feet of snow on the right. Two feet of snow on the left. It's got to be. All my neighbors in here just just love it. The snow like me, so it's so cool. Anyway, you guys have a great rest of your day. I love you guys with all my heart and all my soul. Look at the hotel. It's so I, I love it. Anyway, peace out, you guys.